Hi guys, it's Ashley, aka Leopard Girl 8282 here. Today I have not an Etsy find for you, but a find from actually YouTube. Um, I found a great pigment company by the name of Supergirl Luscious. It is owned and operated by Supergirlistic here on YouTube. All this information will be in the down bar. Her name is Shirley. And just FYI, you guys, um, I did purchase all these products myself. So I'm, and um, I ordered them a little while back, and I have been just using them and loving them and wanted to give a fair and honest review to Shirley and to her company. So I wanted to show you guys the pigments that I purchased. First, I want to show you guys the packaging that it comes in. It comes in these little jars, as you can see. They have this gorgeous label on them. That is like Superwoman, you know, you feel powerful wearing them. So, I thought that was really cute. The names are all on the back as well, so definitely cute. All of them have sifters inside, and they had on the plastic lining as well to make sure that during its shipping, None of the product got out, so they all have sifters on them, which of course you can take off if you don't like wearing sif uh, using sifters. I personally like them, so uh, just to show you guys again that cute, 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 cute label. So let's get into the colors that I used. I also do want to mention that the entire look that I'm wearing on my eyes tonight comes from the colors that I'm going to show you as well as my blush and my lip gloss. However, I did not purchase lip gloss. So I wanted to show you guys everything. Um, Shirley also makes in her store lip glosses, glitters, as well as candles. Um, she did show tonight the different, um, on her channel she did post something that of her new lip glosses. And I already plan to order Pop My Cherry, which is a really gorgeous um, pinkish red color, as well as Sugar Plum, which is their newest color, and it is a bluish purple. So definitely, and she has two glitters too, a black fine glitter and a red that you can put over lipstick or on your eye makeup as well. So just to let you guys know, and her candles look like they smell really yummy too. So let's get on to the pigments that I purchased. Um, I have eight of them. You guys know I love pigments and I'm always on the search for some fantastic pigments. And I think the search is over. So I want to show you guys this first color that I have and I've swatched them on all is called Heaven. It is a, you guys, I swatched these once. Once and done. And look at this, one swatch. This is Heaven. It is the perfect, in my opinion, of course, um, highlight. I mean, it just really glistens, it pops out your face, and it's super duper pigmented. All of these are super pigmented, as you can see. The second one that I have swatched is Rome. It is a light goldish tone. Again, super, super pigmented. The next one is called Mona Lisa. It's what I have as my lip gloss as well as my blush and I have it in the middle here. So I love this color. I've been searching for the perfect like cranberry pinkish type color and this is it. It is like a cranberry gorgeous color. I love it. The next one is called Volcano. It is a grayish black with some shimmer. They all have a little shimmer, which I love. And it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Perfect for a smoky eye, in my opinion. The next one is a gorgeous color as well. It is called Foggy Nights. It is right here. This is so hard to describe. It's like a little bit of blackish, a little bit of greenish, lots of sparkle, just a really gorgeous color. And I used on my eye makeup all of these colors, okay? Now we're gonna get to the top colors, which I love just as well. This 
dark navy blue with sparkles is called Michelangelo. Gorgeous, gorgeous navy blue type color. It's got some gorgeous, gorgeous tones. The next one is called Lucky, and I'm sure you guys can tell which one that is. This is this bright green right here. I love, love, love bright green. So this is fantastic in my opinion. And then this next one is called Evergreen. It is an iridescent kind of dark green color, and I think it is fabulous as well. So, if you guys want to keep watching, I have a tutorial up next of how I created this look using Supergirl Luscious Cosm Pigments. And definitely go over to Supergirlistics channel and um, check out her blog as well if you are interested in any of these pigments. Um, like I said, I purchased these all on my own, so this is my true and honest opinion. But when I see a good product, when I try a good product, I want to share it with you guys because you guys know that I love to share deals with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If Shirley's watching, thanks girl. I hope you like this review. Um, and talk to you guys later. Here comes the tutorial. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm first going to take this color. It is called Rome. It's kind of a goldish um, color. Very, very pigmented as you guys can see. And you can definitely swipe it back and forth and that pigment's gonna stay on there, which means that it's a really, really solid, great pigment to work with. I'm just going to take that kind of all over my eye, just as sort of a base. I've already put Urban Decay Primer Potion on it, just to help the pigment sort of stay put. But as you can see, it really doesn't need much help as long as, which is weird because most do, uh, most pigments do, if you swipe across there versus dab like they tell you to in a lot of makeup tutorials, you know, this one stays. So, super impressed by that. The next color that I'm going to use as kind of a highlight is called Heaven. And this is like one, fastly becoming my new favorite highlight. Because it, as you guys can see, is super, super white, super pigmented. Just the perfect color, I think, to use as a highlight. I'm just going to do that all the way up to my brow bone. And this is just going to kind of make my eyes pop out just even a little bit more. So I'm still going to take that white and just do kind of a triangle here. There you go. And now I'm just going to take a flat headed brush. And now I'm going to take one of my favorite colors. And it is called Mona Lisa. It is almost like to me a kind of a cranberry color. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in the middle of my eye and kind of up a little bit past my crease. And you guys can see, even when I'm doing this, just how much pigment you're getting out of it, which is super awesome. Truly does a good job. And then what I did was I took just some of my Max Fix Plus Spray. Um, I think water might work well too, but I just love this Fix Plus Spray. And I'm just gonna take out even more of that pigment and it's just going to pop out this color a little bit more too. Okay, now I'm going to take, where is it? Here it is. No, sorry guys. I'm going to take, here it is, a kind of an angled fluffy brush as an eye definer brush. And I'm going to pick out kind of this black shimmery color, which is called Volcano. There we go, beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm going to start over here and just make my kind of V shape. And then I'm just gonna kind of feather it in. Sorry, a little bit of fallout, let me get that. But it happens folks, when you're using pigments. So you just wanna take that V, get that V outline. And I just want to go over it just kind of one more time. This can obviously be a lot darker than what I'm doing, but I just kind of want to get the kind of the color, a little bit of the color, because I'm going to layer it with another color. And this fabulous color is called um, Foggy Nights. You guys see it's like, it's so hard to describe. It's to me kind of a, I mean, it's a fog color. I mean, look at that. It's kind of greenish, a little hints of blue, definitely sparkle. It's even got some like darkish blacker tones too. Super, super gorgeous color. I mean, I love it. Now I just want to take my blending brush a little bit and then just blend up just into that color and blend a little bit over here just to sort of define a little bit more. I'm going to go back in with another like flatter brush, I guess. And I'm just going to feather in that color a little bit more. Now I'm going to go back in with my flat headed brush that I was using before and I'm just going to go back in just to pop out that cranberry just a touch more now that we've got that color kind of melted in with it. And then I'm going to take kind of a smaller tip brush. I'm going to go in with the, again, my cranberry color, the Mona Lisa, and I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of a amount underneath the eye as well. 
So super easy. I mean, I love, love, love this look. Um, I'm just going to throw on some upper eyeliner and some mascara and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. So here's my finished eye look. Very, very gorgeous, very, very fall, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous colors, I love it. Um, just wanted to show you some little extra things that you can do with the pigments because they're so fine. And I mean, just Shirley does a great job on it. So I just wanted to show you guys, since I love that Mona Lisa color, I'm just going to take an angle tip brush, spray some of that Max Fix Plus spray. You can probably all use water as well. I'm going to pick up some of that Mona Lisa like I did over here, and I'm just going to use it as a blush as well. Just kind of define up there. As you can see, it just gives you this gorgeous kind of cranberry color that I think is just so gorgeous um, to your face. And that's not it. I also wanted to show you guys um, a little something that you can also do with pigments. I'm just taking a clear gloss. I, I'm just going to basically put it on like you would anywhere. Just kind of all over your lips. Now I'm going to pick up some of that Mona Lisa pigment and just pat it on. And then once you've pat it on a little bit, it's going to adhere to that lip gloss and then you just want to mix it in. I do this a lot with the pigments that I love. I'll make blushes out of them or lip glosses, whatever, just to kind of give it that extra look. So real quick, this is the new shade that I made off of my pigments from Supergirl Luscious. Definitely go check out Supergirlistic. Um, her name's Shirley. She's the one that creates these wonderful pigments. Definitely tell her Leopardgirl8282 says hi. I just was watching her channel today, and she just came out with a lot of new highly pigmented lip glosses as well as some fine glitter to put over either lip glosses or your eye makeup as well. I know I'm all, I already told her I want sugar plum and um, pop my cherry. But yeah, I super love this, this lip thing. I love the blush that I made and I'm loving this eye look. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.